So now if I plot this data, and then for my zoom, we're going to do zoom 9. Okay, there it is. All right, cool. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you plot it. Now it looks kind of linear, but notice that it starts to spread. So the residual is going to be kind of wonky. So um, I forgot to store that regression. So let me store the regression real quick because I need to graph my line. Um, so I'm going to come down here. And you're going to hit vars, y vars, function, y sub 1. Now it'll just store that there. So when I graph it, I have my linear regression. Okay. So let me take another screenshot of that. And so let's put this bad boy in here somewhere. I'll make it a little smaller. What do you notice about this? Uh, the residuals are just kind of spread. Yeah, the residuals are going to spread apart at the end. So let's let's do the residual uh, plot. So to do the residual plot, I got to go back in here and remember the residual is the distance away from the predicted value. Okay. So now we can do that. So the first thing I need to do is I need to go into my stats and edit. I want to plug in, I want to figure out what this is. So I got to plug in the equation, right? So I'm going to I'm going to go up here to the top. I got to click up here. I keep clicking on my keyboard, it won't let me. And I'm going to plug in this formula um, of -65 point nine plus um, five point nine eight right but that's going to be multiplied by and now I'm going to multiply it by my x value which is l20 or I mean l1 so see this little blue l1 here so if I hit second l1 that gives me all those values okay now to do the residual I got to come over here and I've got to re I got to subtract. Um, it's y minus y hat, right? So I'm gonna. I think it's L two minus L three, correct? So I'm gonna hit enter, and then I'm gonna hit second L two minus L three. Okay. All right. So I've got some positive and I've got some negative values. That's what we would suspect. And then I need to compare that to the predicted distance. So I need to do a plot where this is my x-axis, right? And then this is the residual. So this would be my x-axis and it will, will be my y. So that's easy enough to do. So I'm going to go in here to stat plots. I got to turn off plot one. So let me just turn that off because it'll throw things off. And then I'm going to come back to, I could do plot two, I suppose. Let's do plot two. Turn that on. And I want to compare that to L3 to L4. And I just want to do a stat plot. But I, I guess I better turn that on. And now I go to zoom. And I'm going to select option number nine, zoom stat. Okay.